all right welcome back so now we've created our loft and we've created the body of the base but we need to let's clean things up a little bit here before we go into our next uh, feature which is the shell feature for the vase now as you can see you have your three planes over here and it'll say plane number one plane number two plane number three which are right here now as you can see that symbol on the left side of the plane which you should have learned in the beginner edition of our tutorial video tutorial which means that it is showing okay now uh, at for default SolidWorks will hide the the three normal planes which is the front top and right side view and as you can see we created sketches on four planes really not three that's why there's four sketches and not just three but the first one was at our default top plane but the default top plane is actually uh, hidden that's why you don't see that yellow symbol that tells us that the plane is showing so let's go ahead and hide these three planes over here so to do so you can either click on each of them and click on the hide symbol which is those sunglasses or glasses that you see or to make your life easier especially if you have maybe 20 planes that you want to hide select that top plane hold the shift key and select that last plane now this allows you to select all of them and SolidWorks will actually tell you the distance between all of them as well and then you can right click over here on them and then click on hide and there you go so now you got all your planes hidden and you got your vase now looking all not nice and clean and not you don't have anything that is uh, in the way of viewing it nicely so now you're ready to create your next feature which is the shell feature so if you go ahead and click on the shell feature and if you actually just go over the shell feature it will tell you it removes material from a solid body to create thin walled feature what does that mean so any solid body that you see any any solid body that you create in SolidWorks if you use the shell feature it will get rid of everything on the inside creating like a shallow like a bowl for example okay or a, or a box that has no top to it it shells everything and it leaves the walls on the outside so right away it's going to show you parameters one is the distance and the other one is the faces where you're shelling okay so this distance is really the thickness of the walls that you're going to be leaving after you shell your entire uh, bottle so one thing you want to make sure is you want to uh, click on show preview okay and for the surface that you want to select you want to select the top right here of the vase and right away it's going to show you a preview now you're not going to quite see the preview too well because right now you have it, uh, all it's going to show you is a line at the bottom and a line up top so what it really did right now if i put this in my front view so you can see it better you're going to see that that yellow line is actually a certain amount of distance from the bottom because what happened now is it shelved the entire inside of that vase leaving this much material all around the walls and the bottom of the vase so the vase is not going through but it's leaving you that much material now that material is actually that point 0.1 so if you actually want to change that to 0.25 and hit enter you're going to notice that it doesn't just move up 0.25 it moves to the right because that wall is also going to be 0.25 inches thick let's go back and change this to 0.1 which is 100 thou and go ahead and click on OK OK I'm gonna zoom out turn my vase around and now you're gonna see that you've created your shell OK so it's really nice if I actually take my view and put it into hidden with lines showing you're gonna notice how it looks like and you'll, you'll get a better idea of how it looks like so I'm going to put this in my front view and show you that the vase now is all shallow on the inside leaving a point 100 or a hundred thou inches of all around inside of that vase okay so it looks really nice and neat if you put it in here you're not going to see it very well if you just have it with your regular shaded with edges but if you change it to the shaded uh, the hidden lines visible it will show the hidden lines on the inside of your vase so you can get a better idea of what the shell feature did so it's a very nice feature and it's a uh, used a lot in SolidWorks I actually use this feature a lot and it's a definitely a very nice feature to have in SolidWorks it's a big big time saver you know otherwise like I said before there's different ways you can actually do the shell but it will create a lot of different features for you and it's a lot of mess over here to create that but the shell feature is a very nice feature to use and that's what it does for you so there you go this is how you use the shell feature in our next session we're going to be learning how to create a fillet over here uh, using two faces.